Hi, how's it going? This is Resident Colin. I'm here to discuss the right reasons to remake something and the very wrong reasons to remake something. You know, remakes, the word remake is always an interesting word. When you remake something or retell a story, you should try to make that story your own. For example, the best example is John Carpenter's The Thing. He told that story his own way. It wasn't done the same way the 50s movie was, okay? The, the worst way, the worst example of a remake, to me, always has been 1998's Psycho. So, to me, it's all about investment, not just financial, mind you. Oh, no. <laughs> because if we get into financial, look, everything's done for money, mainly. But if you're actually invested into a project from a standpoint of you really give a shit about it, you're going to do it the right way, okay? Whether you're remaking something or telling your own story. And really, you can do a remake your own way. And that's been proven. Okay, again, John Carpenter's The Thing. Um, the 1990 Night of the Living Dead. You can tell a story your own way. You don't have to do it the exact same way the original person intended. And when you don't, when you don't, like in 1998 Psycho, it's going to blow up in your face so bad, it's not even funny. Why, in my opinion, Psycho is the, is the, what's the word I'm looking for, is the best example of what not to do with a remake. Take the story and tell it the exact same way the original creator did it. That is the absolute worst fucking thing you can do with a movie. Especially when many audiences have went and just saw that movie. Now, many people were like, well, wait, the original Psycho was made in the 60s, so how did a bunch of young people see the original? Well, it's real simple. They rented the damn thing. Mind you, pre-98, okay, Prior to 98, in 1996, this, this little movie came out. You may have heard of it. It was called Scream. Well, <laughs> Scream referenced a lot of horror movies. And one of the horror movies that get referenced a good bit is Psycho. Well, a lot of younger audiences, did they go and, again, this is pre-internet explosion and all that shit. Well, so what did they do? They went to the video store and rented the VHS or DVD, you know, or DVD at the time. That's what they did, okay? They went to the damn video store. They wanted to see why this movie was so referenced so you had a younger audience watching Psycho, watching Alfred Hitchcock's original work. Now, let's take those two things. Let's take the mentioned Psycho in the movie screen, and let's take a look at the renting Psycho in 96. From 96 forward, the renting Psycho. Okay, what does that translate? Psycho made money in the renter's department, okay? You're renting Psycho, so money is coming in for that product, right? So what does Hollywood do? Well, we need to capitalize on that boom. So what do they do? We're going to remake Psycho. <laughs> and that, that, my friends, is a decision that led to the biggest cluster fuck of a movie in 98. Look... I'm not going to put any heat on the actors. None. 
my heat is purely with the fucking creative department. Okay, if you were to remake Psycho, are you honestly going to say, you know what, Alfred Hitchcock it did such a great job, we can't top him. Okay, maybe not, but that doesn't mean you want to do the same thing Alfred Hitchcock did in the 60s. Because simply, that's been done! That movie exists! You're not going to sit there and watch a movie in theaters repeatedly that you can go rent for a buck because of Blockbuster, okay, which drove my mom's business out of business. But that's the thing. You, you can't sit there and tell an audience, okay, you need to watch this remake because it's the same goddamn movie. Well, if it's the same goddamn movie, why should I watch it? I shouldn't. There's, you're giving me no reason to wa want to watch this movie. And when you went and saw Psycho and saw that it was the same goddamn movie, all I heard when I went to school was how fucking awful that movie looked. How awful it was. It's the same damn movie. That's stupid. That's all I kept hearing. So, mind you, Hollywood's bright idea of remaking something at that point in time was, we'll do the same exact thing because we have no fucking clue how to remake Psycho. We have no clue what to do. It's one thing to take Norma Bates and try to bring him into a modern day world. It's another to do the same exact thing Alfred Hitchcock did. Alfred Hitchcock did something so not just right for its time, but a little ahead of its time, that it was genius, okay? Well, take the psycho story and go, okay, we have Norman Bates. We have the Bates Motel. How can we use the Bates Motel in a modern day world? Well, instead of taking the bank robber role that they did, it did the same exact fucking thing, you could have did something else. You could have did anything else. And they didn't. That is a problem with the word remake at times. That sometimes, and Psycho is a prime example of that, you get the same exact movie that was originally made. And again... You just don't want that. I'm going to use Dark Shadows as an, as an example. Okay, if somebody said they were going to remake House of Dark Shadows, the 1970 movie, I'd be like, well, okay, but you're not going to do the same exact thing, right? Right? Because if you did, I don't want to watch that movie. I already have that movie. I could go watch it anytime I want. It's the same thing with Halloween. I don't want to watch the same exact movie I can watch on DVD. It's the same thing with Friday the 13th. I don't want to watch the same exact movie I can sit there and watch time and time again. Tell me a different story going off that character. Tell me a different story about Pamela Voorhees. Tell me a story about her that translates today. Tell me a story that, okay, this woman is either completely out of her fucking mind, and you can show me that, that's something they didn't, they only showed me through the kills, show me it another way. That's the thing. A remake should be someone's, okay, th there's two ways to me for a remake, and if there, you have more than two ways, great. You can either completely strip the idea down and build it up as your own goddamn way, or you could say, you know what, we're going to throw a fresh coat of paint on something old. Meaning you can put a coat of paint over something and make it look new. That, But yet, pays homage to the original. Okay? Now, did Psycho pay homage to the original? Did the 1998 pay homage to the original? Well, here's the problem. They did nothing to separate themselves from the original. The only two differences you can name me in that movie is one, it's in color, and two, it has a different cast. That's it. There's no other different, well, direct, 
I'm not even going to get into production, but just from the film standpoint, the difference is you have color and different actors. That's it. When that's your difference, you're not really separating yourself from the original content. You're not separating yourself from the original film idea. You're taking the same exact idea Alfred Hitchcock had, and you're saying, well, no, this is my idea. Well, no, it's really not, because that idea has already been done. And that's the problem with some remakes, especially that movie, considering they took the same exact idea and used it in 1998. Well, that's not really an original idea. That idea has already been done. Look, I don't mind certain remakes. But then again, the remakes I don't mind are the ones that are truly original. John Carpenter's The Thing is original. The 1999 <laughs> The Living Dead is an original movie in a sense yeah it's a remake but it, it's style and its uniqueness in a lot of ways it's its own movie you had great style in certain remakes and great ideas in a lot of others okay willard the the remake of willard in in the post 2000 era was a great idea all right it was different in a sense than the 70s version all right if you're going to honestly remake something then make it your own enough to separate from the goddamn original you don't want to do the same exact story audiences have seen that story it's just like I said about House of Dark Shadows. If you were to remake that movie, well, okay. Tell me some. Okay, show me something that's different. Don't use Willie Loomis, okay? Don't use a lot of the Collins family members. Take something away from the equation and add something that looks new. Add pieces that are new. Add characters that are new. Make the story your own. Same thing with Psycho. Make that story your own story or add a fresh coat of paint enough where it becomes your own version of events. Don't make it the same exact fucking movie that was made in the 60s because God knows we fucking all own that goddamn movie and it's fucking brilliant. The 60s movie is brilliant and good where the 1998 movie is just, well, the same exact fucking version but in color. Okay, no one wants that same exact version. I don't own the 1998 Psycho. Why? Because I own the fucking 1960s version. I don't want the 1998 version. It's the same fucking thing. The same exact thing. Plain and simple. Yes, I saw Psycho in 98. I saw the remake. It was fucking awful. It was the same exact story. I kept going to myself, why? Why did you just do that? You set yourself up for failure when you do that. You don't want to do the same exact thing. And, and that's what gets me. With remakes. With certain ones. It's like, why? Oh, why? Are you remaking that movie? Okay. What's your purpose? Are you actually vested in the project? Do you give a shit about it? Or are you just making it to make a quick buck? The movie didn't do well in the box office, probably. Fucking movie sucked. And it sucked because it's the same exact story. It's the same exact movie. I remember a fellow student asking, why would they make the same exact movie? That's a great question. And yet no one will answer you that it's because of laziness. That's what it is when writers and producers get fucking lazy and they don't want to come up with a fresh idea for a familiar product. Well, you know, 
We can't really top Alfred Hitchcock. Okay, maybe you can't. But that doesn't give you an excuse to make it the same exact way he did it. Plain and simple. This isn't a rant. This is just taking a look at something and going, if you truly want to remake something, if you truly want to do it the right way, then by God, do it the right way. Tell a different story. Don't tell me the same exact version of events and try to pass it off as your own when it's not. And that is pure and simple. I thank you guys. You have a good week.